Hey guys, we're back with Rachel. Hi. And we're, we're outside today. Yeah. We escaped the greenhouse, it's a beautiful day. We thought, why not plant some trees? Yes. So what do we have? We have winterberry. Winterberry trees. Winterberry shrubs. Shrubs. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. Tree shrub. <laughs> <laughs> so we have them planted beautifully. Yes. You did a great job. Thanks. And there's a couple things we wanted to talk about before we show you how we put them in the ground. Right? Exactly. All right. Okay, so the first thing that you want to think about before you plant a tree or shrub is, is this the right plant for my environment? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to plant a tree or shrub next to your septic system because the roots are going to go into your drainage field. Um, you certainly don't want to plant a tree that grows 20 foot underneath your power line or abutting your house. Okay. So those are, those are some key things to think about. You also want to make sure that you have the right soil type. Some plants don't like um, acidic soil, some plants do. So you really have to know what the pH of your soil is before you plant. Thirdly, you want to make sure that you have the right tools. So a sharp shovel is very important. And the proper footwear. So no flip-flops, no open-toed shoes or Crocs when you're trying to plant your trees. Let's be honest, no Crocs ever. Yeah, especially with socks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have, we are ready. We're yes. geared up. We yes. have our shovel. Mm -hmm. You already tested the soil, mm -hmm. so you know we're right. Yep. Yeah. So now we're going to show them how we did it. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. It. Take it away, past Bruce and Rachel. I did a good job digging this whole ditch thing, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. I. I'm going to have to have you come out more often. All right, truth be told, I didn't dig this hole. No, I did. It took me two hours. <laughs> so let's talk about the tree first. What do we okay. have here? So we have a winterberry that birds love. So it's a, it's a great shrub to have around if you want to have wildlife. Um, the funny thing about these is that you do need a male plant to pollinate the females. So you have to have two females per male and it has to be within a 50 foot radius. So now we have to make sure the hole is the right depth mm -hmm. and the right width. So for a tree or shrub, you want to make sure that the depth is level with the ground and that the width is two to three times the root ball. So I guess we gotta check a root ball. We gotta get in there and get Hard. dirty. So take it out. Right. Like you want me to take it out? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, so grab you know, it. No, no, no. See, no. This is what happens when you tell me just to take something out. I'm just going to well, rip it. I want to see how much it. you know. Oh, I so, know. Okay, I know nothing. Okay, for the people who don't know absolutely nothing, you want to make sure that you get in there and you rub the plants around, okay. and that just makes sure that if it's root bound around this pot, right. that you can get it out easily. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. So you kind of. You, you pull. I'll pull. I, there you go. Look at us go. See, so this is not a very root bound tree, if okay. you can see. Um, and you want to make sure that you break up this root ball really nicely. Break these little roots up and this will stimulate some growth. Okay. Okay. You don't, if it's got roots all the way around it, you want to make sure that you break it up nicely so that it grows. And then you put it in your hole. Do you think this hole is too deep? I think you did perfect. No. It's too deep, isn't it? It's too deep. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding. I could tell. It's way below the, the <laughs> it's level. It's way yeah. below the level. Yeah. So that means we have to backfill with some dirt. All right, so now we have to check it again. Okay. All right. Still too deep. Yeah. You know the railroad. Oh, All right, does that look level to you? Oh, we're, we're, I always we're, we're like definitely to, close. It, I like to step back. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that. and give it a little, yeah, like uh -huh. a little lean back on it. Hey. So it sounds like a very simple question, but what are you looking for to make sure your tree is now level? I'm making sure that the depth of the tree is level with the, the ground. Right. So that it's not too shallow in the hole and that it's not too high. So roots aren't above the, the ground, mm -hmm. but actually below. Okay, does that look good to you? Yeah, yeah I think we're definitely there, right? Because I think so as well. We're hitting yep. it nice. So after you get it filled in around your shrub or tree, you want to make sure that you make it all nice and flat. 
Press it down firm so it's nice and pretty. Okay. And we planted a tree. We did plant a tree. Look at that. I'm ready. You ready to do this one by on? yourself? Yeah. So I need to get the roots out, the ball. Yep. So I'm going to lay it on its side. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'm going to press down. Yeah. Try to loosen it. Main point, I'm doing this wrong. You just stop. I will okay. step in. Don't <laughs> don't you worry about that. Yes. <laughs> and you're going to pull what I pull. Yep. There you there go. go. Oh, oh, look at that. All right. So now I want to lift it up, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Kind of see. Examine the root ball. Yep. And you, and you break it apart. Right. So is this breaking up nice? Yeah, but you got this whole other section over here. Over here? So you got to switch it, turn it over. This does look a lot healthier though. Yes, this looks, it does. Yeah, this it looks, looks, looks a little better. All right, so. So now we're going to sit down, yeah, get it flat. See, make sure it's nice and flat. Let's see where we're, so this one's already sitting higher, but it's yes. still going to need some help. So let's throw some more dirt in, huh? Okie dokie. All right. I gotta have shell, Jelly teach you how to do it. Ooh, that'd be want. nice. Yeah, Jelly, show me. Yeah. <laughs> jelly, jelly, can you take this hole? Put this hole here, put this dirt in. All right, let's see where we're at. Okay. Ooh, that's not too hey, bad. Hey, you're, yeah, you're like, like right there. Yeah. Yes. Like a pro. Awesome. You know, I feel like I did my part. Do you want me to start shoveling? For the, for the, are you, do you think I'm slowing down? No, like, I'm do you see my week? You know, I'm doing my part, I'm done. <laughs> no, I meant, you know, for humanity. Oh yeah, totally. And nature. And for the birds. And for the birds. Don't forget the birds. So we want to make sure we're filling in this gap yes. between two? Okay. Do you want me to do it? No, girl, I, you know. I'm just, I'm like, huh? Is he going to do it wrong? I am going to do it wrong. Just to, just to make you redig this hole. Okay. What do you think? I think it looks good. Jelly, do you think it looks good? Okay. Jelly approves. Yeah. So we patted it down. We have mm -hmm. everything nice and, nice. not flat, but nice and compact. Yes. Okay. What's next? Next is we are going to put a thin layer of mulch down. Mulch. And we put mulch down um, for a couple of reasons. We want to um, reduce weeds, so it's a weed suppressant. Mm -hmm. And we want to retain some moisture for these trees. Okay. We thought it was best, right, Rachel, to show yes. you exactly what not to do. Yes. So what do we have here? So what we have here is a maple tree that was planted incorrectly. And when I say that, you can see how the base of the tree is about four inches higher than the ground, our, our ground. Right. And the landscaper actually put down a, a huge mulch volcano. When I say that, I you think about a volcano. Right of mulch. What that does is it creates a habitat where the roots grow above ground level into the mulch. Right. Which we're seeing. What we're seeing right here. here. Yeah. Yes. And why is that bad? Why do you think that's bad? Well, they're not getting the water. They're not growing the right direction. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and learning. Good learning. I'm so glad you listened. <laughs> okay. So here comes the correct way. Yes. All right, let's do it. Awesome. So we have a, we have a bag of mulch over here. Okay. So, we just pull it over. So, I like to just like make a little pile and then spread it out. A little easier. So, I start off by doing like a thin, nice thin layer all the way around. And like I said, don't touch the bark of the tree. Right. And the reason why we don't do that is because mulch is an organic matter. It's broken down pieces of trees. Um, so if you have that organic matter touch the base of your tree, it's going to start to eat away the bark of your tree. And then you introduce bacteria and fungus and all kinds of diseases into the heart of your tree. Yeah. Trees are like children, people. You got to let them grow right. Yes. So mulch your kids right. Mulch your kids right. All right. So that looks good. It's not touching the, the it's tree. It's not touching the tree. It's a nice little thin layer. Mm -hmm. And it should per give the give the tree some water retention. Great. Mm -hmm. Shrubs in the ground. Awesome. We did it. Good job. So now what? So now it's long-term care. You want to make sure that you you keep watering your trees and that you keep watering them for up to three years because it takes a long time for them to establish a good root zone. All right. 
Looks so we're like watering. I need to buy a, <laughs> a better hose, right? That's all right. Water, water's water, as long as it comes out. Well, it should be nice and soft. So I want to thank Rachel for letting us come out, plant these shrubs, have fun. Yeah. Uh, do our part for nature. We're moving on, America. Happy Arbor Day. <laughs> Late. Belated. It's okay. Yeah.